my name is anshuman and today i am here to talk about traumatic experiences and how we can resolve them with yin and yang imagine for a moment a delicate porcelain vase from the ming dynasty it's exquisitely crafted flawless and yet fragile a perfect representation of yin and it shows the profound beauty of vulnerability now imagine this vase accidentally falls to the floor and breaks into countless millions of pieces in a nutshell this is trauma an unexpected event that leaves you feeling broken and lost trauma can come in many many different forms be it loss abuse accidents or even the betrayal of somebody that we trust overall trauma shatters our sense of self and it makes us question our self worth and purpose we often feel that we can never really be whole again as victor frankl a holocaust survivor and a renowned psychiatrist once said when you are no longer able to change yourself you are compelled to change the situation around you trauma essentially looks like this a hazy cloud of stress retaining energy and negative thoughts trying their hardest to ensure that you cannot achieve anything meaningful dispersing it is an arduous task but this act of dispersion is exactly where the magic of rebuilding begins just as artists meticulously piece together a beautiful mosaic from shattered porcelain we too can rebuild our lives just one fragment at a time let me give you an example in japan there is a beautiful art form called kintsugi wherein broken pottery is repaired with gold of all things the philosophy behind this art form is that breakage and repair a part of the history of an object and rather than being shunned or cleverly hidden away they should be highlighted and celebrated a broken object becomes more beautiful for having been broken in the first place by acknowledging our pain and embracing our scars we can become a better version of ourselves but i'm sure you all must have a secret question lying in the back of your head why is this random teenager coming up on stage and just talking about trauma of all things well i have a much deeper connection with this story in the large concrete jungle known as hyderabad a tiny kid named anshuman cherukuri lived he had a fairly vibrant imagination and he absolutely loved books but the place where he studied in his school his classmates and schoolmates bullied him notoriously they often threw taunts and jeers at him without any remorse or forgiveness and even at his home where his parents tried to comfort him and make sure that he was all right the words of his bullies seemed to overpower that love he felt ashamed of himself and in the world of books where heroes triumph over adversity he felt like a lone loser but anshuman had another key thing to stress busting that being the sport badminton he played this on a daily basis and it was his favorite sport so suddenly when he lost all interest within it his coach became very 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 confused and he asked him hey anshuman is everything all right are you okay anshuman gave the average response an adolescent can give nothing wrong sir just tired and fortunately my coach understood more than i had let off he took me to a room a storage room and he showed me thousands of broken rackets like this one and he told me this thing right here it's absolutely useless you can't do anything with it you can't play with it you can't do any practice with it you can't even put it up in a showroom it's utterly useless but if i apply a single piece of graphite to the frame 
it becomes as good as new these words resonated very deeply with anshuman he realized that his experiences painful as they were did not diminish his value over time he stood taller and he became more bold and even though he wasn't the best at social interactions he at least made an attempt now i realize that my story is not one that is particularly profound or complex it's relatively mundane in comparison to the ones we've heard today but it is one that is extremely simple to understand as you reassemble your broken fragments of yourself you'll find that your new identity is stronger richer and bolder than before and just to show how difficult this task is 5% of americans have post traumatic stress disorder at any given time when even the land of the free the greatest nation in the world where kilometers don't exist can't rid its citizens of the trauma they face it is a very complex task to get rid of your trauma but yin and yang can be seen as something bigger it can be seen as a framework for navigating your healing process after traumatic experiences but it can also be rooted to another principle known as dialectism which is a constellation of beliefs that suggests that positive and negative energies surround all of us at the same time it is rooted in three principles or what i like to call the magic toolbox of dialectics the principle of change yin and yang suggests that change is constant things can flip from positive to negative energies at any given point and it depends on the reality that you live in contradiction hot and cold push and pull similar to that yin and yang are opposing and yet coexisting forces which can help you become a better person at the same time they coexist in harmony and lastly we have holism which is a very complex word for connection without looking at the grand scale of things the interconnected web of people experiences circumstances we cannot understand the context behind anything all right then lot of things we've unpacked so far but essentially yin and yang is an amazing framework for navigating your healing process after trauma and the key to it lies in recognizing the fluidity between yin and yang yin tells you to inspect upon yourself become introspective of your trauma and to gain some acceptance over that and yang tells you to grow past it to to get the powerful act of reconstruction underway the beauty of it lies in the fact that healing is never a linear path and even though yin and yang can be stronger or can be more prevalent at times it all results in a positive change for years movies and shows have tried to tell us that in every person's life in every person's journey there has always been that one moment of eureka where we figured everything out in the blink of an eye that is a dangerous lie we cannot figure everything out in an eye span we need to take time and healing needs to come out fully formed in order to really get the best of that advantage in closing trauma may shatter us but it is our response to those events that define who we are everybody here has not failed at anything we just haven't succeeded yet thank you